Yo, what's going on guys? And today I want to talk about why NBA players are being denied from playing, you know, obviously in Eurobasket. So Poku, Nikola Jovic, and Omer Year 7 are a few of the names. There's probably a bit more that have not. Nikola Jokic, Nikola Jokic, and Bardon Bardanovic are Jokic is playing. Bogdan is not because he's come, recovering from surgery. But the thing is, is there's like Omar Year 7 isn't playing for Turkey. And the interesting part about this is due to the fact that I think it's interesting as all hell when you look at this situation. Because back in the day, in the 80s, only college players were allowed to play in international until obviously... That's when the Dream Team was created, when NBA players were allowed. And there was a hype for, I believe, until the 2010s where NBA players loved playing for their international team. But something happened in the 2010s. I don't know if it was because of the Paul George injury. But NBA players start stopped wanting to play for Team USA. If you, as you guys have seen, Team USA, unless it's like the Olympics, for the most part, we have... Like Harrison Barnes and other guys. Not good basketball players, still one of the best basketball teams in the world, and arguably the best basketball team in the world without, you know, the best players. But this year, we've seen Giannis go play with Greece. We've seen, you know, loads of other guys go play with their teams, and they're starting to be back. We're going back to the old way of NBA players wanting to represent their call, they're not their college, their country. And due to the fact that there is more European players than there have been ever before. In the NBA but the reason why NBA you know like why NBA players are not allowed to play in Eurobasket like especially more young guys is because they want to develop those young guys okay why you know so it's this is why some NBA players are not allowed to play in Euroleague like Nikola Jovic Poku these are all guys that I bet you their teams have a plan. And like Omar Year to Seven, he said the other day he wanted, so he basically said the Heat Center said he would participate in tournaments with the national team in the future. And he said, quote, I may not have been able to participate in this tournament, but my teachers, managers, friends who know me best are the ones who know best that if I call in the Olympic Games and the World Championships, I will go running. And like look it, young guys always want to represent their countries and the nba you know as a whole has is, has done a good job of making sure that they're by having their nba players playing these games are important because then they're able to i think it'll, it's gonna it's cool it's cool also it's wild first off pat mcafee i guess so oh my god pat mcafee basically got the Manning cast I just saw. That's awesome. But look, and you know, I, I don't know. I think this is just just people being taking advantage, not taking advantage, but you know, making sure that they can develop their young guys. Okay. Um, I think. People don't realize that uh, that it's it's very important young, developing these young guys. Giannis can go do whatever the fuck he wants, but Nikola Jokic and not Jokic, Jovic. Nikola Jokic can do whatever he wants, but Jovic and Omar Yuta Seven and guys like Poku, they need to, you know, just develop. And I think maybe in the future they'll play but when you're young in their first four years you're going to get denied because they don't want you getting hurt and i think that's basically why so i want to hear your guys's thoughts down below what do you guys think about this and do you guys agree well um, so i think again it comes down to them just wanting their their the young guys to develop and not get injured overseas and yeah so that's that's basically it I, I do hope you guys have a great day and yeah I think that's basically it I put 
I know the the internet, the NBA mix I did might have been a little a little off, but a hey, that's basically it. So you guys have a great day. Pup peace out. Yeah, that's basically. I don't know what else we'll talk about. <laughs>